What's up guys, back in another video and today I'll show you guys how to control your goalie in the middle of a game and just do things where you just can't trust your goalie in certain scenarios to save the puck so that's why you need to control your goalie and just counter some goals so I'll show you guys exactly everything to do, the benefits and how it works so let's get into it. Alright, to have control of your goalie, all you want to do is hold L1 and then X. That is what's going to make you just control your goalie. So now that you know how to use your goalie, now you want to know when you should be using it. And for me, there's three scenarios in which I use it uh, that just helps me, you know, save some goals. One of which is breakaways. The other one is two on ones or two on O's. Thirdly, whenever the puck is loose and the guy just dumps it and I just want to go get it with my goalie to just pass the puck up and, you know, start an attack like that. So there's three scenarios in which I use my goalie and I'll show you guys exactly how to do all of them. So first off, when it comes to breakaways, there's one thing I love to do, and you, you guys probably already know it, but I know I get a lot of questions about this. So what you want to do is a flying poke trick. So as you guys see here, if I hold a uh, square and then put it up, or if I just press square and I go up, this is what a flying poke check looks like. So square and up, flying poke check. That is what you want to use on a breakaway, and I'll show you guys a few clips of me using it, and it's very efficient. On breakaways, you can't really trust your goalie, so that's why, depending on the scenario, depending on pretty much every aspect of the breakaway coming up, if you have speed, if you have a guy chasing him, if you have, uh, you know, anyone around him, in most scenarios where you're chasing the guy down, like you're right behind him, you do not want to do a flying poke check there, because sometimes it happens, you might score in your own net after you do the flying poke check, so you might, like, it might hit off your skate and go in so you obviously don't want to see that so what you when you want to use this is essentially when you have no one around them uh and you just obviously don't want to be predictable there's one tool i give you guys is when you press l1 as a player you crouch down and when you control your goalie you also crouch so sometimes depending on your level people might look at that while they're on the breakaway and they could see that if you're either trying to attempt them to you know uh, think that you're doing a flying poke check or you know to actually get prepared to go on the side and shoot in the open net depending on your level people might do this so like I said if someone crouches on a breakaway just be aware the guy might do a flying poke check so next up when it comes to two on ones it's it really just depends on where the two on one is coming from let's say he's coming from the blue line and they're really separated you have a guy on the far left and then you have a guy cutting in the middle like it's a clear two on one and the pass is gonna go through i like to control my goalie and just stay on the post let's say he's coming from that side and you know he i can tell he's gonna pass so i control my goalie early on and if he passes it, I just either slide or I do a stack the pad, which is O and then the uh, the side you want to go on. So O left and O right, and then that's what it does. Uh, so yeah, that's all I want to do. You either want to slide pressing L1 and then R2 to go post to post like this, or you go stack the pad, which is a little less efficient depending on where you're at. But if you know he's going to pass it, you know, you can do it. Uh, but I like to just slide like that. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, nothing complicated, and it just saves a goal. Third of all, when it comes to just chasing the puck around, all you want to do is hold X and then chase. As you, you see, like I can come up to the guy and, you know, I'm chasing, trying to pick up the puck, right? I can go beyond my net. I can pick up the puck and then when you want to pass it, it's R2, just like if you're, you know, if you're a player, uh, depending on, you know, what controls you're using. So that's pretty much the three scenarios in which I use my goalie. And I think the first two, especially the first one is the most efficient just because it, it can't like, it counters goals, right? It counters breakaways and you could like tempt people by, like I said, pressing L1 and not controlling your goalie. And if you do it once in the game, try not to do it again because then they might, you know, they might think that you're going to do it again. So then you might get fucked. So like I said, if you do it once in the game, you could either tempt them by pressing L1 again and then they might go on the side. But like I said, if you don't give him break, if you don't like give breakaways a lot, you shouldn't like this shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you know, when the time comes and you need to do a flying poke check, uh, now you know how to do it. And I hope it helps you guys out. Let me know if you guys, uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. I know a lot of people are asking for this video. A lot of people ask how to do that on my stream. So uh, now you have it. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you guys all for being here. Make sure you guys subscribe on the road to 1K sub. So let's get that shit going. I'll be live tonight uh, playing champs and GWC. So make sure you guys tune in. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one.